Please note that the enterprise menu will show different functions or items depending on whether we are running Primavera P6 Professional or the P6 Enterprise Optional Client. Please also remember that in our case, for learning purposes, we are referring to and using the Primavera P6 Professional throughout this course. Please note that generally the difference in these two, I mean the Primavera P6 Professional or the P6 Enterprise Optional Client is that the P6 Enterprise Optional Client assumes that the system is installed in an environment where the Primavera P6 administrative responsibilities are separated from the daily scheduling jobs. Whereas the Primavera P6 professional is generally installed at the organizations where schedulers have more responsibility and ownership of the entire Primavera P6 installation. The enterprise menu can be accessed directly by pressing the Alt plus N keys from our keyboard. Also, we can open the enterprise menu from the main menu as well. The first command in the enterprise menu is projects command. The projects command will open the projects window. We use the projects window to set up the enterprise project structure or EPS. We can add new projects and can also manage multiple projects by using this command. Enterprise project structure or EPS command open up the enterprise project structure dialog box. The typical use of the enterprise project structure window is to define the EPS, which is a hierarchical structure of the database of our project. Then the tracking command is used to launch the tracking window. The tracking window is used for monitoring a project's progress using different types of layouts. Next comes the project portfolios command. Project portfolios command open up the project portfolios window. We use the project portfolios dialog box to add, edit and delete portfolios in the database. The resources command is used to open up the resources window. The resources window is used to maintain both our organization's resource hierarchy and individual resource information in the Primavera P6 database. The role command opens the roles window. We use the roles dialog box to add, edit and delete roles. We can also use the roles command to assign roles to the resources. Please note that we can define up to five price per unit rates for each role and also we can specify role availability over time. Similarly, the OBS command is used to open the organizational breakdown structure window. We use the organizational breakdown structure dialog box to create view and edit the organizational breakdown structure or OBS. We can also use this dialog box to view a list of users who can access an OBS elements related project information. Okay, so let's discuss the resource codes command which is used to open the resource codes dialog box. The resource codes dialog box is for creating, editing and deleting the resource codes. 
and we can use these codes to sort, filter, group, and report on the project data across the enterprise. Project codes command will open the project codes window, and the project codes window is used to create, edit, and delete project codes and values. Normally, we use these codes and values to sort, filter, group and report activity information. For your information, project code command only appears when the Primavera P6 professional software is connected to a Primavera P6 professional database. Next, the activity codes command is used to open the activity codes dialog box. The activity codes window is used to create, edit, and delete global project and EPS activity codes and values. Also, we use these codes and values to sort, filter, group, and report project activity information. Then, we use user defined fields option to open the user defined fields window. The use of the user defined fields dialog box is to add an unlimited number of custom fields and values to the project database. Another very important command is calendars. The calendars command in the project menu is used to open up the calendars window and by using the calendars command we can create edit and delete global project and resource calendars as required we can also view calendar assignments and can also specify a default global calendar as needed the usage of resource shifts command is to open the resource window. We use the resource shifts window for defining the shift calendars for our project resources. One of the important and very interesting command that we use in the project menu is activity step templates. The activity step templates is used to open the activity step templates window. This activity step templates window is simply used to create templates containing groups of steps common to the multiple activities. Then we can assign these templates to the activities as needed. The cost account command open up the cost accounts window. This cost accounts window is used for maintaining our organization's cost accounts and we can assign these cost accounts to activities in any of the projects in our organization and we can assign these cost accounts to activities in any of the projects in our Primavera P6 database. The cost account option only visible when the Primavera P6 professional is connected to a P6 professional database. The funding sources command helps to open the funding sources window in Primavera P6. The funding sources window is used for setting up a funding sources dictionary for any type of funding sources such as any non-profit government allocated funds, etc. The stored images option opens the images manager window, which we use to upload pictures or thumbnails for use in the various types of project reports that we produce. Another interesting command in the project menu is resource curves option which launches the resource curves window. This resource curves option is used to add, delete and modify resource curves. These curves are used to assign resources and costs over the duration of an activity. I mean the resource curves are used to specify 
how we want resource units or costs spread over the duration of a particular activity. For your information, that there are 12 default resource curves defined in the Primavera P6. Finally, the external applications option is used for opening the external applications window and this external application window help us to set up links with external applications if needed.